Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Argueta, I'm one of the tutors here at Magic, and this is part 3 of some basic computer terms and terminology. We're gonna go over uh, JPEG and PNG today, very fast. So previously we talked about saving and save as is. Uh, now I have a new file, this little minion guy here, and I'm just gonna briefly show you the difference between a JPEG and a PNG. So, like our previous works, we're going to go up to File. We're going to go to Save As, because it's the first time that we're going to save. Once again, Adobe is going to ask if you want to put your stuff on the internet. I recommend you wouldn't, at least for now. And now we're back to our familiar Save As file spot. Uh, so we are going to call this JPEG Example because I want it to be a JPEG. Uh, now, in order for me to do that, I have to go to Save As Type. Right now is a .psd, which is a Photoshop file. And I'm going to look through all of these until I find JPEG. Now, there's a couple other JPEG options. Don't worry about it. We're going to stick with regular old JPEG or .jpg or .jpg jpeg etc etc and click save uh now we're going to click ok and that's saved that's it that was easy uh now we're going to go to save as again this time going to save as computer and now we're going to name our file PNG example. You'll notice, but you'll notice that even though we're at the same file spot, our file isn't really the file we just made isn't here. Uh, and don't panic. I, I know a lot of people get scared when they don't see their thing here, but uh, a lot of Photoshop in particular. Uh, sort of hides all the files that aren't what you selected. So right now it's showing us only PSD documents that we have. But if I switch to .jpg or JPEG, you'll see that our picture saved there just fine. Um, so don't don't freak out if you if you're on this screen and you don't see your JPEG or if you're following along or whatever. Um, right, so we had a JPEG, we're going to switch to .png, because I want to show you the difference between the two, so I'm going to save this as a PNG example. Okay, now we have an extra option that JPEGs didn't have, which is just asking, how big do you want this to be? Um, I would just leave this, if you're not very technical... It's not really that important. Um, okay, and now we can minimize Photoshop by going up to the top right corner there. So you always have minimize, you always have restore, which kind of makes Photoshop a window or full screens it. And then this one, everyone knows, closes the window. So we're going to minimize this to get it out of the way. And now we have our two examples here, JPEG and PNG. Now, these, these are acronyms. Uh, this one stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. And this one stands for Portable Network Graphics. That's not going to be on any test that you have. That's not, no one in, in an interview is going to ask you what those two mean. Um, it's just what the creators of the file extension wanted to name it. Uh, if you get to, if you invent something... I hope you don't name it something that complicated. Uh, okay, it looks like it's asking us for an app. So let's get that sorted. Okay, so I have my two files open uh, in Paint, Microsoft Paint. Uh, and if you look between the two of them, aside from the name JPEG and PNG, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what the difference is. 
uh, which is why almost everything on the internet will use JPEG because it's a smaller file size, way smaller, and the quality looks about the same. It's only when you really get into the details that you start to notice uh, the differences between the two. Uh, so I'll show you that right now. I've got my bucket selected, and I'm just going to splash the background in black in both of these pictures here. And you're going to notice right away, immediately, that the uh, outline sort of for the little minion guy is very blocky and nasty looking. Um, this is called compression. And JPEGs try to compress as much data as they can to make the file as small as it can be because when you're working on a project or you're putting JPEGs up on your website, that size adds up uh, really, really fast. On the contrary, when you're making art, uh, it's more than likely when you're saving your finished work, you do want it to be higher quality. You do want it to look good. On the contrary, when you're making PNGs or your finished art, you do want it to look good, uh, as good as it can look, because you might want to print it on something later, or maybe you want to post it on your social media and you want it to have all the colors in the world and, and look as detailed as you want it to be. So that's mostly the difference between these two here. Um, so yeah. Uh, again, they're one and the same for most of your work and assignments here. Uh, you're probably going to use JPEG. Um, if you use it, if you end up using a PNG, it's not the end of the world. The file will be a little bigger. Um, and there's almost no punishment, really. So, uh, I hope that kind of clears things up. I know it sounds like they are almost the same thing, and that's because, by design, they kind of were meant to be the same thing. This is just more like a, hey, if you're an artist, maybe start looking into saving your things as PNGs, unless you are trying to make a fall, a small file size. Uh, in which case, you know, go for the JPEG. All right, I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.